Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Excel Chat walkthrough video. I am your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we are talking about how to calculate a rolling average in Excel. So this is a little bit of a detailed tutorial and that we're going to show you some graphs as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do here is see, okay, we have a list of months here, you know, January through December, and then the sales for each of those months. Now, a moving average is uh, basically a way to represent data in certain periods. So in this case, we're doing intervals of three months. So here I'm going to put equals uh, average. And I'm going to select this range right here, period of three months, close parentheses, enter. Now I'm going to drag this all the way down. So now I have uh, all of my moving averages for each interval, uh, for, for each um, data cell here. And now what we want to do is say, okay, we have all of our moving averages. Uh, how do we represent this data? You know, how, how do we format this data to show people like, you know, these are the sales and these are the averages. Um, and the way that you want to do this is actually, if you go to file, then options and come down to add-ins, uh, a great tool for this is the analysis tool pack. So if you hit the analysis tool pack, then hit go, uh, it'll add in the analysis tool pack for you. And then from there, what you want to do uh, is go under data. And then from data, go to data analysis. And here we're going to click moving average. So we have our input range of sales here. That is our input. And we have our interval of three already inputted there. And then our output range is here. It's uh, these intervals right here. And now what we're going to do is hit, um, oh, also make sure that you check chart output. So it'll I'll put it in a chart for you. Now what we're going to do is hit OK. And here we are. So these this is the moving average. And obviously, you can make this look a little bit prettier uh, by labeling the x and y axis and things like that. Uh, but it has the actual sales. And then it has the forecast according to the uh, to, according to the moving averages of where it would be based on previous data. So that is one way to use the analysis tool pack, which is a pretty useful little gizmo here to help represent the data. Uh, if you're trying to make forecasts or projections, it's really good. Uh, there's another way to do this um, and putting it in more of a, a chart and trend line uh, model. So we're going to get rid of this. We'll get rid of these two as well. So let's go back up here. Let's actually redo this. So let's go equals. Average, parentheses, enter, and then we'll take that all the way down. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to go to insert and we're going to highlight here, and then we're what we want to do first is get a, a, a bar chart, and this bar chart is going to just have all the sales. It's going to have uh, the x-axis as the months. So we'll go to recommended charts here, and we'll hit. That one. So as you can see, all the sales are represented across the different months. So now what we want to do is say, okay, I want to add our interval trend line. So that the way the way that we're going to go about doing this is actually we are going to let's make sure that we're doing this correctly. Uh, we're, we want to go to layout. Uh, we actually we can go to add chart element, and then we can just go right down to trend line. And then moving average is right there, but we want to go to more trend line options, just to make sure we're getting everything right. So we'll go to moving average. And it was initially going to use a period of two, but we wanted to use a period of three. And now we just hit, well, let's make sure the uh, it's a solid line um, and it's red so that we can see it. Okay. So now let's see how that looks. Okay. So as you can see here, I can zoom in on this for you guys. Maybe not. So as you can see here, we have our trend line. Um, it's the same concept as the forecast. It just kind of shows you where your sales have been and where they might be going uh, based on the previous data, based on the previous months. So uh, this is a really useful tool for representing data, uh, specifically for sales. You know, sales forecasts are super important in a lot of companies, uh, and this is a great way to go about doing it. So uh, there you have it. You can use the analysis tool pack, or you can use uh, bar chart with the uh, – moving average trend line, and that will accomplish the same task. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.